I was having a think the other day, Daniel, if you were to start doing day game as a complete blank canvas, fresh start, what advice would you give yourself? And certainly I've seen so many changes over the years, uh, especially in this industry of like what guys are being taught, as well as just the uh, the communication that both men and women are having. And I've put together five things that I think would be really beneficial for any guy who is just getting started doing day game or just cold approach in general. Um, because I think there's certainly a lot of a uh, misunderstanding with guys when they do get into the industry. I think they set the bar way too high for themselves and they put way too much pressure on themselves and maybe even from other people as well, like friends or or uh, wings that, they, uh, that they're that they just going out with. And so I want to help to just set a better expectation, which I just know is going to get you better results when you're, um, you're, you're meeting women. So first one is only do street approaching or cold approaching or day game when you're ready. I think too many people encourage people to do day game when they are just not in the right headspace or they've just got too many other things going on in their life that they should be focusing on rather than being detracted from it. Um, Now, that's not to say that if you aren't happy with your dating life that you should neglect it and that this is an avenue for it. But I have certainly known plenty of guys over the years where really they probably need to see a therapist first or they need to see like a personal trainer or a stylist even to help them to work on their overall image and certainly how they feel about themselves so that when they do go out to meet women, they are going to be in the best form possible and they're also going to make a great first impression as well. Um, There's been certainly, I think, a bit of a marketing ploy over the years of this idea that dating women is going to solve all your problems and unfortunately it doesn't. In fact, it can be more of a distraction than anything. And what I kind of always hope that like dating coaches would do is that if uh, a guy approaches them to want to work with them or come to them for coaching that they can be very honest and blunt with them and say I want to help you but I don't think you're ready just yet if you work on x y and z then absolutely come back to me and then we can discuss it but otherwise I think if we're going to go out and if I'm going to get you to do some approaching, I don't think you're going to get the best results because I don't think you're going to be able to handle it or I don't think you're going to be styled in a way that a girl is going to give you the time of day. So if you are someone starting out, I just want you to first of all, just make sure that you are ready for it because doing a street approaching or cold approaching um, isn't an easy feat. I mean, bear in mind, you are going against the social norm. You are doing something that is very surreal, very different and uh, and unorthodox uh, with meeting women, but absolutely one that I praise guys when they do do it. But you do have to be in the right headspace for it and I have known guys who when they've then gone and done uh, approaches and really they they weren't prepped for going out um, it's it's broken them Um, or like in a video that I've done about with comfort zones um, they have that rubber band effect and they then get absolutely petrified of the idea of talking to strangers just strangers in general because of them going out and they're not, they just weren't in that right headspace. You know, they didn't have much confidence or belief in themselves. And so as soon as they did that first approach and maybe even got a rejection, their confidence, whatever little bit they had just went boom, just fell through the floor and they were just devastated. So just make sure that you are in the right headspace. Hopefully a coach will tell you um, if they feel that you're ready for it or not. Um, But though, what I would consider is just maybe get like some kind of second opinion. uh, Or if you are having doubts, then just work on your mindset first. Be ready and prepped for going out and talking to people. And that can look like... uh, 
what in fact what would that look like that would essentially look like uh the co- having body confidence being absolutely okay and 100 percent in your skin or maybe not 100 percent, but just being okay in your skin you have to be comfortable with who you are as a person if you are incredibly introverted and you're just scared of just talking to people you have social anxiety um going out and talking to strangers straight away isn't gonna help you in fact again you might have that rubber band effect and it will backfire you know but this is where something like the eye movement therapy can be great just to reduce those boundaries or emotions that are holding you back from giving it a go and uh not having that rubber band effect take place so definitely watch the comfort zone video so with the second point now i i've kind of alluded to it already and that is that rejection and rejection is going to sting like crazy at the start for you now no one likes to experience rejection that is that much is certain okay but in the beginning when you're rusty you aren't used to stopping people you aren't used to maybe having conversations with strangers you are going to probably get all sorts of reactions and you have to expect that um I know I've certainly over the years, the amount of guys that have done approaches, even the best of guys get rejections. And in fact, if you have a look at any dating coach, especially ones that I've worked with over the years, you will see that some of their best videos are rejection show reels. So everyone experiences rejections, even the most confident men, even the most good looking of men as well. But you have to instead, you have to try and enjoy the, uh, the process of uh, of meeting women and just embrace any rejection that you certainly get your way. Now, the best way to do that is just try and come into it like a scientist and try and look for rejections to happen to you. And in fact, just owning that kind of like negativity, you'll probably find that it won't be as bad as you think because you've just shifted this mentality of like, I'm scared to get a rejection to, you know what? I welcome it with open arms. If I get it, I will deal with it. And in time, you'll actually became, become desensitized to it. And that will be when you will get the best results. But don't put the pressure on yourself at the start to just get the best results. Very, very, very few men I have known over the years when they first start doing cold approaching, have they got really good results? Um, And in fact, the ones that have probably done well, they've actually come from a background that was already, uh, they were already really sociable. They already had great communication skills. They were already kind of dating and meeting women um, as well. So it wasn't really something that was a new experience for them, except for maybe just a change in the environment in how they were meeting uh, the women that they wanted to date so just bear that in mind if you aren't a sociable person you have to embrace rejection and be okay with it and just know that as time goes on that is where you will become more desensitized to it of course you're having exposure therapy and then you will get the uh, the better results and that can be however far in the future it really varies from guy to guy so also don't put that pressure on yourself of going like oh well maybe i'll be better or maybe i'll be at my best state in three months time like no every guy is different i've known guys who can be really great within like a week or two and i've known others that might take like a year or two as well and i know in fact of some coaches who very openly have shared their stories online over the years who have said that it has taken them years to get to a really good place. And that leads me on to point number three or my advice for you of uh, number three, which is that I want you to learn at your own pace. Now, it's too easy to compare yourself, I think, to other people that you're going out and practicing cold approach with, or if it's guys that you're socializing with, it's too easy to yeah, compare how many approaches or how many girls or women they're dating compared to you. 
And that just isn't fair on you to, to try and justify that. If someone's been doing it for a while, then you have to expect that they are going to be in a different place to you. And also people don't always have as much free time to go and practice. So I want you to consider just learning at your own pace. If you only have so much time a week, then just spend so much time a week going out and practicing talking to people in whatever kind of environments. It really doesn't matter. But also then consider, and I'm going to have another video on this, but what your short-term and long-term commitment is to practicing cold approaching. So like if you're going to work with a dating coach, then your short-term period might be to go in the deep end and, you know, dedicate like a solid month to just practicing and having like a sabbatical from work almost, like get book a, book a, a month's worth of holiday off and just practice and develop all the skills that you need and then going back to normal life. Or an alternative could be, just spend a couple of hours a week going out and then next week a couple of hours and so on. Um, I know definitely there are small communities or guys that go out and practice every weekend. So there's something for everyone really to go out and you know and if you're also going to be practicing on your own then why not um, why not schedule to go and run some errands and I think in fact I think David even said this in the interview with him that he would actually get off at a train station a few stops earlier than where he wanted to go, which meant then that he had to walk further. And if he saw someone that he wanted to talk to, he would go and do it. So you've got a few different ways to do this, but never feel rushed or that you are missing out by, you know, trying to put yourself out there like crazy and stuff. You have all of the time in the world to be practicing. If anything, it's fantastic that you are looking to work on this uh, this area of your life, this field of dating, and you have, again, all the years ahead of you to be able to make those changes. And in fact, even doing it incrementally is just as good as like trying to do it in the space of like a couple of months or something. So, and, and I've known guys who though have done it in a couple of months and then they've lost the skill because they haven't practiced it afterwards. So there is something to be said in going out and just practicing in incrementally or just like maybe a couple of hours here or there or just a couple of approaches here and there and letting that skill sink in and become ingrained into your routine. And you will just develop your confidence that way. And again, as time goes on, you'll become desensitized to the experience and you will get better results. Uh, number four uh, of my advice would be just be open to criticism and don't take it to heart. Unfortunately, in this industry, guys' egos do get the better of them. And I want you to just accept the responsibility that you aren't in a great place, but you want to be in a great place and that you should be open to feedback from people. Now, to be fair for you, if a guy just says, oh, you've, you've done a, ter you're, you're really crap at this. Oh, you should give up. Then that's, that's obviously just terrible advice to be taking. And in fact, you know, you don't want that, those kind of people around you, but you know, if someone's giving you advice saying things, especially like if a dating coach says, I don't like the way in how you were stopping the girl. Um, I think you were too, uh, you were talking too fast. You weren't making eye contact. You rushed um, having a conversation with her. You didn't listen to what she was saying. Um, so why would she give you the number? Like that kind of criticism is... Uh, is really positive is going to help you out because then it gives you the opportunity to ask for more advice and more feedback and say okay well what would you recommend that I do here or what changes should I make there and it's going to be that kind of refinement in your conversations and interactions that that is what's going to get you the better results so just be open to criticism I have seen guys who have unfortunately taken it to heart and, and I think on one or two occasions they have been very upset or it just becomes very demoralizing for them and, you know, and then it sort of ruins their day and they're just upset and they don't want to do any more approaches and, um, you know, that that's not what this is about. You're meant to be going out and having fun and it's meant to be enjoyable flirting and interacting with people that you're attracted to. So, yeah, just just 
be open to criticism. Don't let your ego get in the way. Um, but also, you know, when you're taking advice from people, make sure it's from people who are actually really good at doing cold approach. Don't take advice from people who, you know, they think they know it all, but they don't. Because certainly from what I have seen over the years online with my clients, um, the amount of people who they'll watch a couple of videos on YouTube of some uh, some infield demonstrations, and then suddenly they are professionals themselves. Like they just know intricately inside and out the 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 details of how people should socialize and they just it's as if like they've gone to uni and they've got like a a phd or a doctor's degree in uh in how approaches work so yeah just take advice from people who know what they're talking about and the last one uh is that if you are struggling uh or if you get to a point that you realize that you're just not getting anywhere it is absolutely okay to go and seek help um this will be the moment that you might be uh, maybe you've gone out for quite regularly, you've been doing approaches um, and it's still very early days for you and you are just not getting anywhere with it. It is okay to see a dating coach sooner rather than later. Um, and in fact, many years ago, a coach used to say, um, it's not so much practice makes perfect, it's perfect practice makes perfect. So if you're going out and practicing your cold approaches in the right kind of way because you've been trained to do it uh, correctly, then that is where you will get even better results and just better results faster. There's no point trying to do the same thing over and over again if you're actually doing it incredibly wrong. That's not going to improve your results. And absolutely, I have seen that in London when I've been walking through the street and I've seen guys doing a cold approach and I can see it's just gone horribly wrong. And it just so happens maybe they've recognized me or my voice definitely. And um, and then I've asked them like, how long have you been doing it for? And they've been saying like a couple of years. And then I haven't really said anything. And I've gone like, yeah, I think you probably need to go to a dating coach. You, you shouldn't be at this sort of stage still after this many years. So it is absolutely okay if you are struggling to go and seek help with a dating coach. But also just to kind of plug my services here as well, if you are finding that you are struggling with a lot of anxiety when you are meeting women or you're scared of future events like getting rejection or scared to how a woman might react to you, then I am an integral eye movement therapy specialist and I can help to remove negative memories and limiting beliefs that might be holding you back. So definitely check that out in the, uh, the description, my website below, but also I'm a life coach and I can help to hold you accountable whether you are doing cold approaching on your own or if you're working in parallel with a dating coach, then I am able to do wonders with holding you accountable and making sure that you are constantly taking action and ingraining all of the skills that you're developing and how, making sure that you're doing it right and that you have the right and best intentions for your dating life going further forward into the future. So, um, so yeah, so I hope this was useful for you. Um, I know that just implementing all of this advice, so uh, just reading through it, um, so only do cold approach when you're ready or day game when you're ready. Uh, rejection will sting, it will be painful, but over time it will go. Um, learn at your own pace. Don't rush yourself. You've got all the time in the world to be practicing. Be open to criticism and don't take it to heart. Just make sure that you are getting feedback from the right people and ignore the wrong people. You'll you'll know if you're if you're getting poor advice from someone. And then lastly, it's okay to seek help if you're struggling. Don't spend, you know, months, years, whatever still having the issues. If you're getting to a point whilst you're out doing approaching, especially at the start, don't waste your time. There's obviously better things for you to be doing and why not see a dating coach that's just going to help you to get those results faster so you can get all that time in the world back. So thank you for watching. I would, in fact, like, subscribe to the channel as well. Leave a comment below this video. I would love to hear your thoughts on this video and 
hopefully if you implement any of these as well, I'd love to hear how they worked out for you. So till next time, thanks very much for watching.